Shapes loom out of the dense fog that surrounds everything. The muddy ground underfoot gives way to slick, wet cobblestones. The tall shapes become recognizable village dwellings. The windows of each house stare out from holes of blackness. The sounds cut through the silence except for the mournful sobbing that echoes through the streets from a distance, which are closed, and uh, they have big signs, out of business, or go away, things like that should have gone to the river the uh at the first crossroads you come to um in either direction like nothing is lit there's no street lights or anything uh more nothing but ahead of you there seems to be a bigger town square area which has a couple of lights uh peeking out from the the mist and show signs of life so what was the game plan again? I know I made it, but what was my game plan? Uh, Explore the town. Um, I remember my plan was uh, basic necessities, which this town seems to be dreadfully lacking in. But um, trying to figure out what happened. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, does it look like a? So I know you said there, there, there seems like a lighted area. But does it look like any bigger buildings than than the normal? Like, like that, like a center, you know, like a chain of command type of thing. <laughs> Maybe that bigger building. <laughs> you can walk toward the towns. Immediately to your right is a big, uh, like tavern or tap house, which appears to be open. Uh, there is a sign. A single shaft of light illuminates the main square. Uh, its brightness looking like a solid pillar in the heavy fog. Okay. Uh, as soon as Circle sees the uh, tavern, he looks at uh, Crow and Mato like, <laughs> <"Weird>. don't, don't. <laughs> Hell yes, like, the like, town immediately like, got waiting. better. So he, oh. He's just waiting for them to bolt so he can like, catch up and <laughs> grab them so um, it's not, they can't like above, do anything dumb. Yeah. Above the gaping doorway, a sign hangs proclaiming this to be the Blood on the Vine Tavern. Uh, to your left is another large building, uh, which has sparse light spilling out of it. Um, is a business called Buildraft's Mercantile. Ooh. Um, yeah. Uh, the other, there appears to be on the, like, road, this is like a five-pointed star. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's a northwest branch that seems to lead up a hill toward a church or a temple or a cathedral. And then a southern road to at the end of the village, the a manor house. There, there are lots of vi- buildings all over the place, and most of them appear to be mm, nondescript. <laughs> Everybody, and, and these places look like a place a a, a burgomaster would be. <laughs> uh, probably uh, the manor house. All right, all right, all right. I don't want to uh, go here. there. I'm gonna give you guys a map. Oh, cool. Cool. Wants to go see some mercantile. Sounds like fun to me. Um, Yeah. Occasionally, out here, you do see, you know, people. uh, I say people, but it's mostly like a series of persons that will come out into the road. Uh, You know, they're walking, they're carrying something, they're they're doing like appears mostly mundane business. These people are dark and dour looking. Um, If they do happen to notice you, they very quickly turn around and go back the way they came. So this is normal. It's completely normal. All That's right. a bit rude, don't you think? I'm gonna be honest with you. I've looked at us. I wanted <laughs> to do that earlier. I just couldn't. Um, yeah, mercantile. I say, let's go. I mean, honestly, we've got an elf. We've got, I think, a human. Yeah. We've got a dwarf. We've got whatever the hell Ash is, and whatever that cool guy is. <laughs> we're pretty. We're a pretty approachable group of people. My. My point of view. I don't know about approachable. <laughs> what do you mean? Do you not think I'm eminently approachable? Yeah. Says Lana with her very strict looking face and golden eyes. <laughs> you should know what eminently means. Oh wait, you have gold eyes too? <laughs> this party. 
It just You're full of weebs. <laughs> I, don't even, I, don't even know I don't actually remember. Oh my God. <laughs> uh huh. I say is entering the mercantile place. I am approachable. We're going to the mercantile. <laughs> mercantile. Yep. <laughs> you go inside, I... and it's like going into. Have any of you ever been to a feed store? Yeah, dude, yes. they're great. Yeah, like everything is just. Yeah, super I don't know dusty. About great. <laughs> uh, I like the people. Feed store? Like, I, like, I, yeah. I like the people. One, like one of those things that sells like um, vegetable seeds and stuff? No, no it sells like, like animal feed. Like, like animal feed, like, you know, like um, the things that you use to keep livestock, but also like food tools uh, and implements and things yeah. like that. This is very much a general store. Mine sells snakes. Um, you see like tack for sale, uh, lots of raw tools, hammers, shovels, things like that. Um, supplies, not a lot of food for sale, a lot of things to make food with. Uh, but everything is dusty and grimy and old and looks like it's been here. There, ha- It doesn't look like there's been a lot of new stock. I walk up to the counter and I just say, hello, can you tell uh, yeah. me where we are? This is uh, my store, Bill Drath's Mercantile. I know that. The sign's on the outside. I mean the town. Bar- Barovia. Oh, we made it! I, I turned back to everybody like, we made it! I did it. Uh, so I go, walks up to him and says, uh, do you know where the Burgomaster's place is? <laughs> the Burgermeister? Burgermeister. <laughs> Bur- <laughs> oh, what? Burgermeister. Oh, whatever he's called. <laughs> um, Sorry. Do you know the Burgermeister? I'm Burgermeister, laughing in, in 90s holiday claymation movies. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You've done it. You've done it. Uh, I'm sure you'll be able to find this house. Yeah, that would be great, right? 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 Just, just stick with me here. Stick with me here. Got a map? Mm. Even a general map? Any map? A small town. We don't need. No, I mean, just a general map. Any maps? No. Okay. No. <laughs> well, he's honest. He thought about it though, so he might not be. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Well, then I turn. I turn to our elven friend and, and say, in Elvish, general supplies with wide open arms. Have fun. <laughs> uh, sounds like a plan to me. Says also in Elvish. She go. immediately begins scouring for the boozes. <laughs> there, there is the blood on the vine tavern. Is uh, is Argyll, uh, noticing they're going with the intent <laughs> to? Uh, Guy still uh, any crossbow bolts, by the way. <laughs> does he have crossbow bolts? And yeah, you find that there are some archery supplies and things. Would you like to buy some? Sure. How much? Ten gold. Yeah, it's ten gold for these. Ten gold. Ten gold pieces. Ten gold. Ten gold pieces, sir. Ten gold? Oh yeah, God! You, you I say want is it this? No, <laughs> I don't actually need it. It's too much. Well, you don't want it bad enough. I mean, I don't need it to bad enough to be honest. Obviously not. <laughs> I'm done. That's all I wanted, people. I'm Thank out. Thank you. Come back and go to the winery. <laughs> why would why would they have ale at a winery? That's their problem, not mine. Can you point me in the direction of the winery? I'm sure you'll find it if you step outside. God damn it. Whatever. I left ages ago, people. Yeah, I left. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <and> no. <laughs> Was, he was, did not look like he had much patience for you. Uh, inside the tavern. Tavern's pretty big. Um, there's a lot of... Uh, imagine, you know, the, the stereotype of people, like the dark people huddled over their, their drinks, not talking to anybody else. Uh, this one's mostly empty. There's only half a dozen people in there. There is a person tending the bar. There are three, like, ladies, young ladies, who are kind of, they're, like, colorfully dressed. Uh, They're dressed very similar to the people that you partied with the other night. Uh, And then there's a a dark guy in the corner by himself. That's nice. Uh, Yeah, the guy behind the the, the counter is just, like, a pudgy little... So, uh, you you watch him for a minute, and um, he's, like, got a row of glasses very like OCD laid out and he picks one up and he just like cleans it uh, with a 
uh, you know, a towel, uh, and he just goes methodically one by one down the line. So uh, the people that look similar to the people we've been partnering with. Um, yeah, they're they're dressed in similar style. Uh, do I rec- do I recognize them? Uh, they're dressed in similar style. <laughs> you, you oh, so the, the, their faces. it's just similar, not they're not the same. Okay. Yeah, they might be like an ethnicity deal, but the guy behind the counter looks real sour and dour, and the guy drinking, you know, sipping a glass of wine uh, in the corner is just like dark and broody. This is a sad place to be. I'm just sad in the doorway. That's it. Yep. There, there is like an upstairs area, but it's uh, like roped off, and it just has like a little uh, placard hanging on it that says "No Rentals." That's nice. We're in the tavern, right? Yeah. We're in a winery, I thought. No, 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 you're in a tavern. Is there? I want to look around. I want to like just start do some investigation, some sleuthing for some good old. But the the barkeep man person did like acknowledge you coming in but ask what you want um and the uh the three women uh who are sitting kind of closest to the front door where you came in uh kind of you know look at you occasionally then giggle to each other you're not sure they may be you know bachelorette partying drinking who knows they're they're pretty calm they're keeping you the pulse it's the first person you've seen smile since you got here but also like the second person you've seen so (laughs) (laughs) I smile back with a with a terrible just just K nine teeth smile. Zergo like gives like a little wave. <laughs> so, I'm be honest with you. I've I've lost track of my of my plan completely. Why am I here? Booze. I like I'm pretty plan. sure. I th- I think that's the plan. I'm pretty sure booze is the plan. Yeah. Did I find yeah. any ill? How did I make? All right. Cool. I didn't remember. You want to ask for it? I would like to look before I ask, because he might like. Well, there, there's lots of uh, casks and barrels that could contain it. Okay, now I go up and ask, Hey, uh, how much ale to fill up this mug? And I just pick up my big old mug and I place it on the... Uh, oh, I'm terrib- terrib- terribly sorry, terribly sorry. We don't we don't have ale, we, we only have wine. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I, I mo- I'm moving closer and I say, well, this is a winery. It- no, this is a, a tavern. Oh wait, do you yeah, also I mean, have a winery? Well, no. We're, there's a there's a there's a winery. The uh, we, we're supplied by the Wizard of Wines. The Wizard of Wines. It's a it's a it's a winery uh, west of here, south of Valakai, I believe, between Valakai and. Kr- all right, all right, all right, all right. This is gonna this is gonna be a crazy question, but stick with me here. Stick with me here. I say as I'm making eye contact with this guy the whole time. You got a map? Yes. Got a um. I heard you say well, yes. No, but I I believe it's simple instruction. I think it's follow the Old Zvalich Road to the west and uh, either before or after Valakai. I'm on. Un- uh, what's, what's a Valakar? Valakai. It's a village to the west. Oh. Would you be interested in a glass of wine, perhaps a pitcher? Uh, do you have any law? Do you have any hard liquor? Well, I have wine. <laughs> mm, sorry, it's uh, it's uh, been slim pickings for a while. Zergo so like pats Crow on the shoulder and says, "Uh, you know, wine can be good too." <laughs> As Never. they're making this, um, I guess uh, a plea for anything but wine. Uh, Ashen Ram is looking around just to see if there's any like kids around or like like urchins playing in the streets or anything like that. Nope. Mm-hmm. No kids. You're very suspicious of that. No kids. So yeah, about that wine. Uh, the spooky man in the corner comes up to the bar, not in like an aggressive way. He says, Eric, uh, two pictures, please, for our new friends here. And he Hell down, yes, you're my friend. He puts so down, what can I do for you? Puts down two silver pieces. He says, come, uh, come, come sit with me. My name is... My name is Ismark. Oh. I take a Kismet. One of, I take a one of the things that are following. It's not ale or liquor, but it's good and enough. He gets two pitchers of wine and pours you all some glasses. You may partake or not. He doesn't give. Well, no, you look like an adult. We went over that. I'll take ash and ribs. Uh, <laughs> I don't like it anyway. And then I, I give it away. And I'm just like, hey, mister, why are there no kids here? 
It's dangerous to be out. Most uh, wise parents keep their children indoors. That's boring. I'm not going to make any friends that way. Friends are the least of our concerns. Uh, there's danger Maybe if you made about. friends, you'd have less concerns. I think that is true. You're right. I'll do, <laughs> I'll do better. Oh, okay. And I just find something else to do. <laughs> so you're you're obviously new here and stand out quite a bit. I take it this is your first visit to Barovia? Yep. Yeah. Oh, Barovia. <laughs> yup. Yeah. He, he, he mutters an uh-huh through, like, just slurping down the alcohol. Mm-hmm. I, I noticed you were looking up and down this this tavern, and I hear tell that other taverns have it's a, it's a gathering place for people looking for for tasks and might I ask if you're interested in such a arrangement I have I have a job that I think outsiders would be particularly well suited for. Uh, sounds like you're gonna sacrifice us but I'm in does it pay <laughs> it does pay you'll be handsomely rewarded <laughs> that sounds a-okay what you got I need to have my sister out of Via to a safer location. Ah. Define safer. Well, to a village called Valakai. It's a settlement in the heart of the valley. It's out of the view of the castle and I hope beyond the reach of the devil. Whoa, right. you got a devil here? You have castles? The More devil important? Strahd. A devil named Strahd? Cool. And then she just drinks some alcohol and realizes mm. his alcohol is like. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you hand that over here, darling, so you don't forget again? Yeah, uh, I don't like it. Whoa! Zergle, like, stares, <laughs> Too stares late. at... It's mine now. <laughs> Zergle stares at Mata like... Why? She's <laughs> nasty. So like she's it. got two cups of wine, one for each hand. This is a good <laughs> day. Double fist <laughs> Double fist Zergle, you're not going to drink that, are you? <laughs> Zergle, take a sip. <laughs> <laughs> this man Ismark also drinks, and he says it is truly one of one of life's small pleasures. Hey, can I grab that other picture? Yay, poison! <laughs> <laughs> A little poison's good for the soul. Is it? Oh, very. Poison? <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, Ismark, can I have that? Uh... Can I have that other? Do you have a map, uh, sir? Uh, at my residence, I I believe so. All right, where is that? Come, come, come with me. Um, and you'll be. I'll I'll bring you come bring you to, to my home. You'll you'll meet my you'll sister, see. and we can arrange mm -hmm. uh, whatever details need to be laid out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, this sounds like a start. He finishes his drink. The wine is surprisingly better than you expected. It's oh, like, yeah. um, right, well, when your too. drinks are finished and you're ready to leave, he leaves out onto the road. Uh, you see more people giving him, uh, giving you side glances as they hurry away. Uh, the only thing people. of interest and note, but um, Ismark doesn't give you time to stop and really deal with it, is there's like an old lady pushing a cart, uh, like a food stall cart. Um, but she's not like selling or hawking. She's just like moving. He leads you south down the down the hall down the road to the giant house manor at the end of a, a weary looking mansion squats behind a rusting hmm. iron fence. The iron gates are twisted and torn. The right gate lies cast aside while the left sweeps lazily in the wind. The stuttering squeal and clang of the gate repeats with mindless precision. Weeds choke the grounds and press with menace upon the house itself. Yet again, while against the walls the ground tramped down to create a path all about the domain. Heavy claw markings have stripped the once beautiful finish of the Great black marks tell the tale of fires that sailed the mansion. Not a pane nor shard of glass stands in any window. Windows are barred with planks, each one marked with stains. Oh, oh. Gonna, gonna, again, gonna again look at a look at, look at, look at our elf here and say no fish. Um, Elvin, um, what are the chances he actually has money? I say upon seeing, seeing the ruins of a house. Well, he could pay what seems like a lot of money in these parts for wine, so I'm going to guess he's sitting on a pretty penny. He just can't openly use it to fix his house without drawing some sort of attention. 
So gotta, while gotta look these, run down like everybody else. While these adults are having like a effective conversation, Ash has just been looking around for like some crows that she can throw rocks at. She's gonna want dinner soon. No, you don't see crows, but you do notice ravens. Okay, I just start throwing rocks at ravens and hoping to, to hoping to hit one. Uh, so she's like, "Hey, can't do that to uh, poor birds." I need food. Yeah, well, we can get you some. They deserve. But that's okay. I can get my own food and then throw another rock at another race. No, no, like I'm so good, like takes on. I was like, nope, nope. Don't be. So, so the raven like croaks at you, and then you hear this like raucous cr- cacophony of ravens everywhere, and then no. it stops. No, here's, here's Yay, the more chicken! <laughs> you would, throw you another would, rock. would you consider ravens to be small game? <coughs> ravens are huge, come on. come on. I didn't know no, that until no, no. I lived here, and the ravens are like foot tall. I know, boss. I was, I was, I was hoping you'd reload. Uh, uh, I, I take my crossbow and load it, and load it, and I'm like, uh, Ash and Ram, use this. Uh, okay! Um, uh, uh, no, Zogol t- tries to take away the dangerous <laughs> tool from the child. Is, 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 <laughs> no, is, is Mark is, is, is very quick. Says, hey, please, um, the, the ravens are friendly. Please do them no. Yeah. Okay, it's, there's, I'm bad luck. it's extremely bad luck. To- what can I eat around here? Uh, we'll, we'll come inside. We'll have food. Uh, no, he Kurgle can- gives Ash and Ray like a concerned dad look. <laughs> Back off, buddy! I'm 19. <laughs> then I walk sure, inside. Yeah. Still a baby. 19 year olds have children. Uh, you can't Back walk off. inside. The door uh, is <laughs> you can't walk inside because the door, the mansion door, is heavily bolted. Oh, well, I wait for that guy, and then I go inside. Yeah, he. Okay, he <laughs> comes up to the door and pounds on it and calls out, "Irina, Irina, it's me. I've I've brought friends. Please, please let us in." He knows Irina. My goodness. Oh wait, uh, who is that paper? Uh I think Zergal. Zergal, oh, what, what did you, what was the name on that paper again? It was uh, Zergal says in Dwarvish to grow. It was Arena. I, I, I say I, I say in Elvish. Just just because I'm a dwarf, you think I speak dwarf? <laughs> Zergal only understands common dwarfish, so he has no idea what you're saying. <laughs> oh, he's like, he's like, that's a weird dialect of dwarfish. I don't know that one. <laughs> yeah, I um, Just because I'm a dwarf, you think I speak dwarf? <laughs> there's, uh, there's a lot of uh, clanking and the sounds of locks and things being manipulated, and then the door is thrown open. Uh, there is a pretty fetching young lady on the other side of it with uh, you know, burnt auburn hair. Uh, a kind of, you know, not super nice, but well-worn dress on, uh, you know, in a very comfortable uh, kind of overcoat, not overcoat, but like outer dress thing with a with a big fuzzy scarf. It looks pretty warm. Um, Hello, you have food. And then I walk inside. Yeah, you, know, you walk Ooh. inside. <clears throat> well, I, I try, I like, I reach out my hand to grab Ash. By the, by the Stop table. manhandling me. I Ooh. hate this. Wait, wait, I, I, I just have hand. a... Oh, stop <laughs> it. God, I just have a question. Shit. God. <laughs> what? Uh, Ismar goes in. Um, says, everyone, this is this is my sister, Irina. Uh, she says, pleasure to meet you all. Please uh, let me get in. I would, I would very much like to look at her neck. <laughs> of course she <laughs> Just like so... <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to point out. I'd like to point out the dwarf, right? The shortest of us all is like, I'd like to look at that neck up there. <laughs> well, uh, I won't judge your kinks. I don't want to obviously do it. I just want to. She is wearing a scarf that is now that you're thinking about it, suspiciously high. Um, so you don't see anything amiss, other than she's wearing clothes to potentially in, in, intentionally hide maybe bike marks. <laughs> I say, uh, I say, hi. Name, name is Kakulin. Uh, what's, what's your full name? I, I, Irina. Uh, Irina Kolyana. Oh. oh no. Oh, I Back say, still outside the door. Oh. Yeah, I'm still. <laughs> I'm not walking in there. Um, I, I, I back in door. Which I speak to uh, what's his name? Zergel. Didn't that letter say she 
died. No, it didn't say she died, just that she is uh, suffering my, from being... My, uh, my dear Irene languishes and dies from an unholy wound caused by this bio beast. It says she's dead. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and say in in Elvish, right? Uh, Elvin. I always say Elvish. Fucking mm-hmm. hell, man. All right, Elvin. Uh, you know she's adopted. It's also in the letter. That's the part he picked up on. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I've already like walked in, and I'm. Oh no! I I know you're gone. I'm yeah, just sitting I, at the dining table. Not, rest in peace. But uh, yeah, we've abandoned you. The interior of the mansion is the interior of the mansion is well furnished, yet the fixtures show great signs of wear. Noticeable oddities are the boarded up windows and the presence of holy symbols in every burgomaster oh. is in a side drawing room on the floor, lying in a simple coffin surrounded by wilting flowers and a faint oak decay. There is a coffin inside? There is a coffin, coffin inside. It is not spooky. It is like uh uh what do you like a viewing setup? Oh. So, like, really gothic interior design. Yeah. There's a coffin with a corpse in it. Well, a corpse in it. Uh, it's already filled. Yeah, it is filled with a dead man. I'm not going in there. Zergo oh. says, um... Huh. Huh. He points at the coffin and says, What's up with that? Ismark says, my... My father passed away. And... It's truly a truly a tragedy. Hmm. Oh. My condolences. Has Weird. anyone been in to perform the rite? Did I see well, any churches when I came in? There was a church uh, on the opposite end of town. It's building a, it's a graveyard behind. It. That's a graveyard. The baseball field mm-hmm. behind. It. Uh, <laughs> uh, he says, uh, it's, "Well, he's uh, Donovich." who runs our local priest refuses to inter my father for reasons unknown. He says he's mm-hmm. much too busy. Can I uncite the reasons unknown bit? <laughs> Does he actually not know? 17. He doesn't seem to genuinely. And then Irina says, yes, he, Donovich says he can't. He... He says he's too busy to help bring his body to the to the cathedral, and and we haven't been able to find anyone willing to help carry carry him across town since he has become so unsafe lately. So. That far, Jesus. Well, the streets the streets are dangerous. You guys are just hearing like. Have, I, I might I might direct your attention to the uh, the state like of the our other. the state of our home. Wolves and other terrible creatures roam the streets. During the day? Well, not as often, but yes. How so who goes to check on Ash and Ram? How about we With that noise? Just, how about yeah, we just... So, uh, in the dining room, Ash has effectively torn apart and eaten every napkin. Mm, there's real food, though. So yeah, okay. uh, Zergo oh. goes and takes the napkin from her, like, uh, like <laughs> she uh, is a goat, so like, she's trash. Yeah, I, she eats <laughs> just she eats whatever, and she ate some of the food, but it's mostly just been the paper napkins. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's, it's like that's not good for you, and then tries to take take it from her. Please eat this. It all instead. comes out the same. <laughs> yeah, but your body doesn't. Uh, agree. So. <laughs> How about we do some you know, wolf hunting you know, plans and, and I mean, uh, well, we, uh, we gotta carry this body, huh? Yeah, mm. Irina suggests maybe we like I if you would be so kind to help us bury bury my father, that would be a wonderful gift. Of uh, course. Is Mark says uh, well, we don't have time for that. We need to move dangerous. The, the, the wolves are at our door every night. We can no longer stay here. Yeah, that's why Irina, you... I get to talk to myself for a while. Irina stamps and says, like, I will not leave until my father is buried. Your father, you should, who, you, who you love, needs to be... needs to be safe. His soul needs to be put to rest. At some point, she got in most of, a, m- most of the food on one plate, and now she's just kind of eating the plate. You're just hearing cracking. But she's these listening. Arguing. I'm imagining yeah. these guys arguing. <laughs> bite uh, in slowly. Yeah, it's like. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, okay, okay. Um, it's actually uh, probably midday ish. Yeah, not a robot. 
So how about you think about it like this? If we kill the wolves, they won't come at your door, right? And then... That's uh... not worked so far. Mark has done his best to slay beasts, but they, they never stop coming. Oh. I mean... I think there might be more wolves than even even your group of very powerful individual heroes could could muster. Man, this man I hear sarcasm. I, I uh, look at I look at Ash and Ram eating a literal plate and like Yeah, power. There. Yeah. Well, how long do you think it would take for us to, to drag I mean drag, I mean to carry a casket, uh a, you know, like several hundred feet <laughs> so so like several hundred seconds no it's not this isn't i don't Irina says i i had never ex- just a difficult task merely that the other locals were too too afraid to <clears throat> sorry to be caught with their hands full in uh on the on the roads there's two of you all right we can't carry a coffin ourselves i'm sorry you failed me. Uh, <laughs> I will help. And and and, and, and Ismark says, and another thing, Irina is not leaving this house. Yeah, I thought you wanted me to. I thought you wanted us to take her out of the house. I do, but not. I cannot protect her. Alone. That's why I need help. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All, right. Okay. All right. Okay. So we put the dead guy in the ground, and then we walk with the lady somewhere else. That's the job. Ismark says, "Yes, that's that. Apparently, that is the full of it." Okay, and then she cracks the plate in half, and she's like, "Okay, I can't carry this box by myself." Uh, no, no. Here's here's the question: Where's that map? <laughs> ah, yes. Hold, please. And he goes and looks through some desks, and things. What is it? What? What are we? Are we looking? F- what do you need a map of? All the maps. Realm? All Literally the maps. every map you have. Oh man. Well, here I will present you with all of the useful maps I have. All right. Cool. In Dwarven, I want to just like speak to to Zergo, like, hey, we should we tell them that we know about the whole thing? Uh, He's gonna apply in Dwarven. I'm debating it. Yeah. Don't know what will happen if if they find out we know. Yeah, I'm. I'm not one for. Wait, Hold on, let me let me uh oh, oof. Okay, stop being so loud. Oof. Did you say oof? No, no, no. <laughs> you've been oofed. Oh no. Uh, I I go to I go to um ma ma mama mada uh <laughs> mama <laughs> mama mada <laughs> mama, mia. mama mia here we go it's more like why not mada but okay uh, uh, wine mama, lady mama. In, in elvish in elvish hey, mm-hmm. should we tell these guys that we uh, know about the whole uh, situation with her neck ah here it is there it is uh, I am not in favor of telling anyone anything until we know full well what the situation with her neck is she's supposed to be dead and she isn't dead I, I, I'm in earshot of this because I'm right next to y'all uh, yeah. I, I, I say um Guys, I just want my maps first. We can tell we can tell her about us knowing she's adopted in a sec. <laughs> I'm talking about the vampire part. All right. oh, okay. cool. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was I thought that was the less important part. I mean, well, she we doesn't know, know why we can't take her out at daytime because you know the whole oh my skin burns. Oh yeah, we all we know about that. But you know, all right, so, guys. Uh, he spreads this out on the table. He moves shattered plate away and gives Ashram a very stern look. It says, uh, maybe here, if you were more hospitable and stopped using all your time to argue with your family members, I wouldn't have eaten your plates. Let's mm, move this box. Go on. Just keep spreading my keep spreading my maps, please. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> so looks at Ashram like a disappointed father. Here, here we uh, are in the village of Barovia. Ah. Let me do a show to others arrow so you can see it. That's where West is. This all makes sense. This is the village of Barovia. Uh, along the old Zvalich Road to the west um, will eventually take you to the town of Valakai, which is where I would like... I, be- I have. It is rumored that it is more well defended. 
than Bolivia. And the Irene will be safe there. Oh, Wait, you want us far. to travel all the way over there? Yes. I thought it was just to the graveyard and back. You want us we to? We want to bury my father. Irina won't leave. Bury my father. Yeah, that's cool. There's a graveyard just across the way. Why don't we bury? So we're gonna bury my father here, and then bring Irina to Valakai. Oh, <laughs> you, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't no expect that two jobs would be too difficult for you. The line was a little strong on me. So. You're not used. To I it. suppose the tales of dwarven resilience are greatly exaggerated. Then <laughs> no, I'm not <laughs> ale and not much else. I usually drink ale. I never had this wine before. Well, sucks to be you. Uh, all right. Out of curiosity, <laughs> do either of them look like sloshed right now? I'm yes. a little tipsy. Um, <laughs> but in character. <laughs> Good times. I mean, if we want realism, there is a bottle of rum right next to my bed. Next to you. Actually, there's. Oh, shit. There's a few bottles. Rum there's three next bottles next to me right bed. now. There's three bed. They're all right next to me. I have a little cupboard thing on underneath my bed stand, and that's where I keep it. So, nice as the uh, as the drunkos compare getting sloshed, Ash is slowly just munching on the corner on one of these maps. Well, all right. Uh, uh, is there, is there a girl is like trying to like like take it out of her mouth, like <laughs> like a dog that's not supposed <laughs> to have something in her mouth? No, Ash. I got the corner. Let it go. Let it right. go. We don't. All right, so what I'm getting at here is if we, if we actually want to do this task with people, it's up to you all if you want to do this task. We actually might need to get moving kind of quick. We got midday. I don't know if I want to stay here another night with the wolves and hear this man complain about how he doesn't want to stay here another night. So I assume if we take this this is this casket, y'all follow us? Both of y'all? Well, um, uh, uh, Ismark says, I'd rather Irina stay. I'd, I'd, you know, I mean, that, that's kind of that's kind of messed up. I, I'll, I'll go with you, yes. I thought this was her father. You want to leave her alone? Oh my goodness, it's terrible. I mean, this house seems pretty secure. So I guess we... From what he's telling me, it's not. Yeah, there's wolves. That's cool. As long as we bury the body and get here before the wolves, I'm pretty sure we can kill it. Uh, I, I mean... can't carry this box. You want me to wait here with it? You can. You can help. I mean, yeah, you can wait with her. But also, why is this? This isn't. This is your father, isn't it? Or father figure? He's, he's, which who, which one are you talking to? The the uh, the, the lady, the lady, Irina. Uh, exactly I have handouts here. Let's do these things. Uh, here she is, all garbed up in armor, which she is not currently wearing. Oh my goodness, she's gonna kill us all. She's gonna yeah. This is when you fight her. Uh, <laughs> I should have known. And I have one for Ismark. Oh, she's she. Wow, I I no. did. You suddenly fall in love? <laughs> no, I thought I thought she was. I I oh, I thought she was blonde. No, he described this. He described. Yeah. Yeah. He said she had auburn hair. Burnt There's auburn hair. Ismark. Well, you lesser. see, <laughs> the lesser tragic. So he hasn't told us his name yet because he was like, I don't like people knowing. He said he introduced himself as Ismark. Yeah, but not mm-hmm. the full He didn't name. introduce himself as the Burgermeister's son. Yeah, but she keeps saying she said father, right? When yeah. when we're talking, all right. Wait, uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and repeat. It's kind of messed up. She, you know, she doesn't want to go help bury her father. I do want to go desperately, but my brother then won't then, let me. Then your let brother me. won't. Who's your brother? I'm be honest. With you. I'm be honest. With you. I don't Ismark. think he can stop you. Let's go. Okay, who? It's safer to travel in a group. Who who's uh, uh hey hey uh, wait. <laughs> oh my god I'm so confused I'm gonna I'm gonna sp- I'm gonna, sp- I'm gonna sp- endure vision not like, in character that is not in character okay you know no this is in character <laughs> in in Elvis I'm like wait hey who's Colian in 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 I Colian I who 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 the hell is that I'm so confused as this bite mark lady she says also in Elvis is she got bit. And so she's I Koliana. I love nobody. No, no, no. She, she she's like Irina Koliana. Who's Koliana Intervich? But no, Intervich, who who the f- I don't know. Who the hell is that? That's- okay, uh, Zergal right. says in Dorvish, it says that 
Ari and Koliana is his adopted daughter, which means they do not share the same last name. Okay, then who is this cool big relationship person? And who is this dude in the box? Oh my god, you guys, it's a mystery house. <laughs> no, I told you, this wasn't a character. He's, he's, just, he's just confused. I'm going to repeat. Uh, it's messed up. You don't, you, don't want, you don't want to go to her own father's burial. This only happens once in a lifetime. <laughs> you're lucky. Well, I mean, if it happens more than once, then maybe you're very lucky and you found a good cleric. Uh, or or you're just extremely unlucky and he doesn't leave you alone. <laughs> that would be extremely unlucky. Anyways, the last thing I need is to come is to come back from de- from delivering the body and then you not being here and then I don't get paid because I can't deliver you anymore. Wait, were you talking to me? I thought I was just letting you guys talk. No, no, no. I'm, t- I'm just I'm telling I'm telling this to the people, both of them. Actually, how much no. are we getting paid? Nobody's told me how much I'm getting paid. I can't pay. I can't get paid to escort her if I if I go drop off a body and I come back and she's not even here. I want at least twenty gold uh, a day. Ma- I want at least twenty gold. Make a persuasion check. Ten. Ten. Look at it. And he doubles down and says, "No, I. It's it is an unnecessary risk to bring her out. If we are not leaving, then I don't want to do it. I, I'm sure." I'm sure our father would understand. All right, all right. Then, then my my only request here is, I get paid for delivering the father up front, that we get paid for delivering her afterwards. Because because I gotta I, I gotta at least get paid for something here. Well, I, the the it's we seem to be in a predicament. I I re- this crossbow has literally cost my life fortune, my life's savings, my life's fortune. <laughs> The life's fortunes <laughs> of savings. <laughs> like, I can't, I can't, I can't be doing free things right now. It sounds well, insane. This town is, uh, let me, let me get to my ledger. And he goes and sits down at the desk. He got the book out of, he gets the ledger out. You hear a wolf howl outside, mm-hmm. uh, which causes him to shudder. Oh. And he, 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 what he does is he reaches down a bag of what you assume to be coins, wolf howls, and he shudders. And then he grabs two more bags. <laughs> uh, he comes out and he says, "This is this is the last of of what we have, other than the house. And unfortunately, it's a mere seventy five gold." All right, somebody do math. I say in character. How, in how, character. how, how many of those are there? There's like five. There's five. He doesn't. He actually doesn't know the math. Oh my goodness. Uh, five divided by seventy. Can, uh, can <laughs> what's five divided by seventy five? It's, it's, it's fifteen. Do you really? It's fifteen. Did you? <laughs> in character, I say, God damn it. All right, hold on. So, uh, Ash, only, uh, okay. So Ash gets fifteen. I get fifteen. Uh, we all get fifteen. All right. Well, what about the house? Once you're gone, I'm pretty sure. Are you coming back or no? Once Irina's safe, I I don't know what my future holds. Hmm. Wish to maybe trails off. Alrighty. Okay, because yeah. I'm pretty good with wards and seals. I could probably, for uh, another payment, I could I put some wards up. This is the last. I mean, I, yeah. I I've staked it all on Irina's safety. The all house right. repairs. This is he just kind of starts like you see him break. He starts to weep. This is this is. This is all that I can do for her. Oh, that's, that's nice. Now here's a game plan. I say while he's still weeping. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So we we'll leave Irene here. That's fine. Have her pack. We'll be back. Uh, you come with us with the gold in case bad things happen when we come back. And then when we come back, we leave with her. I love it. That is my original plan. Let's do right, that. Cool. Bring, <laughs> bring the coins, I say. Bring the coins. Excellent. Right, I'll grab yeah, my yeah. stuff. All right, cool. <laughs> uh, he's, as he says that, I grab the maps. Wait, I have another question. Do you have a carriage? No, unfortunately. If they had a carriage, it would have been a dead guy. It's, it's, it's less than a... It should be... The trip should only take a day with slow going and, and rough. It, it's, it's only an eight-mile trip as it flies, but it'll take us... Something closer to twenty. It's not too bad. If we hurry, we can we can perhaps get there, not too late in the night, but 
be a terrible night to suffer a curse. <laughs> Guys, that's all right. what I'm trying to, trying to, trying to, because it's midday. Right. right? We... Arena, grab your Hi. things. Be ready. We make haste as soon as father is buried in the uh, And he gets a sword, puts it on his side, and is ready to. When you're ready, let's let's heave this coffin, carry it to the, the chapel. Right. Does okay. it look like he three. knows how to use that sword? Eh, probably. Does he look like he knows how to use a coffin? <laughs> probably. Okay. On the probably. Three. I'm going to ritual cast the alarm spell on the front door. All right. That is very smart. God Push a button on it so we can see what that does. Eight hours. <laughs> So we're not doing that, right? Because it's eight hours, or what? No, no, no. no that's the duration. He oh. takes him ten minutes to cast it. I'm yeah. sorry. I was like, it takes him eight hours to cast an alarm spell. What kind of useless kid of wizard are we traveling? With? Hey, um, <laughs> you set the lid gingerly on the coffin, hoist it upon you. Uh, I'm going to need at least four of you, not counting, counting, uh, Ismar to bear this burden, although more of you could do it to move slightly faster. All right, let's all go. Right. Zergal, oh, Zergal, 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 he, he's pretty strong. Am I strong? Not very, but I can help. You're a good person. I will try! I'm getting paid. We're terrible people. I'm basically standing underneath and have both of my arms outstretched up, because that's I'm, the only way I'm able to help anybody with this. I'm not gonna lie. I'm Wait, are you tea posing? <laughs> T-posing. <laughs> I, I, I imagine... That's where it's her so dominance. I, I imagine she's under the coffin doing like a spirit bomb pose. Yes, exactly. It's a spirit bomb like, pose. Uh... <laughs> it's the only way I can possibly help carry this thing because everybody's so much taller than me. All right. And Zergo's going to help out because... Like, I'm a little dwarf. Toward the church. Is it an athletics check that we need to make? No, we don't need to do anything unless something happens. Oh. I'll drop this at a moment's notice, people. I just have to get it to the church, not in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. These people don't give good directions. Well, it was like go north and then you're there. Uh-huh. Follow the road. How tall is Crow? How tall is Crow? Um, f- four seven. You're taller you're than tall. Ash and Ram. You're taller than Ash and Ram. He's four three. <laughs> God damn. Four, three, four, five. I don't know if you count the horns or not. You don't count the horns in that, yeah. Okay. It happens. Atop a slight rise against the roots of a pillar stone that supports Castle Raven. It's a gray sagging edifice of wood. The church has obviously weathered the assaults of evil for centuries. On end, worn and weary. A bell tower rises toward the back and flickering light shines in holes in the shingle. Rafters strain feebly against, them. yeah, overshadowing this church way up in the mountain by is this tower of a castle poking out through the mist. Oh, that's got bad guy energy. <laughs> <laughs> the heavy wooden doors of the church are covered, scarred with fire. Huh. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like everybody, everything here has been on fire. At one point in time, it's, what do you do, adventurers? I head towards the fire, the, the not fire church. Yeah, we're still taking this thing to get yeah. buried, right? Yeah, so. yeah. We're, we're doing what we're doing. This guy's paying me unless we're killing him. His mark goes and bangs on the door and then opens. Uh, inside is a 10 foot wide, 20 foot long, <laughs> brightly lit chapel. Okay, once more. Um, and the <laughs> interior reeks of mildew. Um, Smells like home in here. There's a couple of doors on either side of this little the chapel, which is strewn with debris and lights everywhere. Uh, there is a man softly but firmly praying vigorously a far end at like an altar. And then you hear, uh, you know, as you come in, is Mark Hollers. He's just like, Donovich, we've arrived. There's a scream coming up from under the floor. Please! Please, I'm so hungry! Ah! <laughs> and the praying fervently loud returns to its like. That's what I sounded like an hour ago. I want to say that's new, but it's not really too new. Sounds um, weird. 
What was that? Ismark has no idea. You said that came from below the floorboards? It sounds like it came from below you. Oh. Huh. Under the wooden floor. Alrighty. What was what do you say the what do you say the, the priest's name was? Father what? Donovich. Alright. Hello, That's Father good. Donovich. Where am I placing this? You go up to the man who he he scoffs you off uh until he finishes his prayer and then he does a whole bunch of uh, you know, hand Naruto moves oh, no. and then and then <laughs> rises to his feet. Uh he's covered in sweat. He looks like he hasn't eaten in he says You smell like feet. Yeah, I got a picture of this guy. Is it just feet? This is all sweaty and gross. Donovich. Oh my goodness, he hate look at him. Oh my god. <laughs> god, that poor guy. <laughs> in the minion movie? <laughs> 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 he looks like, oh my god he does kind of look like Gru oh my <laughs> god I need like 20% <laughs> <laughs> please tell me he has Ray of Frost so that he can see please Ray good time um, he, he coughs and, and he says with a very hoarse voice I bring I Apologies, I lost my voice. Okay, we have a dead body for you. I need you to find the voice. Where am I putting this? You can just direct me. That's fine. I need a hole. Ah, uh. I'm uh... here to uh, get the proper rights to bury this man. Oh, that's what it's called. It would be proper to burying him with at sunrise to offer prayers to the. Be proper? Is it needed? Um, no. And then there's, then a, let's like a, go. there's a horrible scream from below. Two winces. Donovich winces at and begins to to pray some more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, more what yeah. is down there? Uh, pay, pay that. Pay that no mind. Um, <gasps> kind of hard not to when we hear it screaming <gasps> bloody murder. It's a particularly tough alderman. That needs attention. You guys don't need the role. He's making up stories as he talks. That's, that's <laughs> fine, guy. Seriously, do you have a hole already dug? Uh, come. Uh, we'll prepare. Uh, any any of you have strong hands? Uh, here. I uh, he leads you out back into the backyard. He just gets away from you. he. There's like a little shed. He says this is a burgermeister, so we must pay him the proper respects. Though I do, I do wish. Could delay until dawn. So remembering, remembering that the that the brother didn't really care, and only the sister did. I'm gonna say, I think, I think now it's fine. It's probably fine. Go ahead and say the things. Uh, who wants to dig a hole? Sergal will. I know. Sergal yeah. will get sweaty and gross. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I thought I asked. Not the first time. I'm used to uh, like hard labor. You. Uncover something about palm-sized and shiny. It appears to be a pocket watch. Hmm. Uh, Zergo will curious. He opens it. Uh, it is in good shape, although it's very dirty, and it looks like you bend the top of it to wind it. But otherwise, it appears mundane. Mundane. You got a watch. Oh. Congratulations. Oh my goodness. You get this hole dug. You hear a scream from inside the church, kind of muted and echoing. And Donovich puts his hand on Mark Schultz and says, Is Mark, friend, are you sure that we should lay your father to rest now? Not with the dawn. Can I do a religion check to see if laying him to rest now or laying him to rest at dawn will make him into a zombie or not or some weird shit like that? <laughs> sure. Okay. You suppose that it's some kind of sun god, and it doesn't seem. You don't think it's necessarily dangerous. You know, <laughs> see their way to the other. Side. Oh, that kind of. Stuff. You don't think it's like, oh god, it's cursed. If you. Um, okay, he's laid to rest. Let's go. We got yeah. other stuff to do. Is Is Mark says Donovich just hmm. pray for him in the morning, and I will do the same. Uh, while while they're burying him, I, hey Z- Zergo, can I can I borrow that? Can I see that watch for a second? Uh, yeah, sure. And Zergo hands him hands Crow the watch. Zergo, say something. Say whatever you. Um, potatoes. 
So every time he opens the watch, it says potatoes. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Done it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't wait yeah. for Circle to get stabbed. And potatoes. Just potatoes. <laughs> 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 he comes out with like a squirt of blood. Okay. Potatoes. <laughs> 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 Zergil, this is important. Did you did you wind that watch up? Yeah, he like winded it to see if like it w- still worked. Yeah, it does. It works. It ticks. I wonder if this belongs to anyone. Uh, hey, your alarm goes off. Well, that was alarm. <laughs> God. Turn it off. It's so loud. <laughs> seeing, seeing the dwarf kind of... kind of Stop snoozing. Just get up. Seeing the dwarf kind of freak out a little bit over what seems to be absolutely nothing. I'm like, huh? What's up? <laughs> Turn off my alarm. You had an alarm? All right. Didn't Catherine you or- put the alarm on the door to see if people were oh. coming? Oh, shoot. <laughs> Yeah, Zergel like runs, like sprints towards uh, the mansion. Okay, well, I guess I'll see him later. Uh, <laughs> you gotta go back to the mansion. There's someone there. Uh, Donovich says, Ismark, I, um, Ismark, I don't think it's safe for you and your sister. Again, cut out, dude. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It's you, not me. Okay, he, well. Yeah, he doesn't, he said he yeah. doesn't think it's safe for you and your sister anymore in Belovia. And upon him saying that, I'm gonna say, yeah, I mean, that alarm did go off. No, I, the the Abbey of St. Markovia in Kresk, is, there are people there that could keep her safe. You make it back to the house, and there is a hunched-over body on the door. 